uh, The Office um, TV review. So this is part of my scripted review series when I go through my archives and reread old reviews I've written a long time ago. Uh, the Office was uh, something I finally got around to seeing in 2005. Now, uh, I was living in Japan at the time, so I was n living in the expat circles, which means I was not only mixing with other Americans, but I was mixing with Australians and New Zealanders and Brits and uh, Irish and everyone. Uh, and I had never really heard about The Office. It hadn't been popular in America yet, but it was really popular in England at the time. And for kind of a couple of years, I kept hearing my British friends talk about it. They would reference it, they would make allusions to it, they would talk about actors from it, uh, and they would talk about how funny it was. And I didn't have the opportunity to see it um, until one of my British friends I had a copy of the DVD set that I think he brought from home, if I remember correctly. So he loaned it to me. So I was able to, I was uh, on summer break. Um, so I kind of, the, the day's completely free and I was able to take it back and watch the whole thing. And um, yeah, so this, this is my review after seeing the kind of the British office, the Ricky Gervais version for the first time. A British friend loaned me the DVD set of The Office, and I was immediately addicted. I was up until 6 a.m. the other night, watching The Office. Summer break. Because I've been out of uh, the country, meaning America, for so long, I'm going to have to plead ignorance on this one. I've heard that this show has been popular in America as well. So maybe many of you have seen it already, but if you haven't seen it already, rent it tonight. Absolutely brilliant. Funniest thing I've seen in a long time. It's a British show, and at first glance, it appears to be a classic example of the difference between British and American humor. In the American sitcom, you usually have the line-line joke, line-line joke formula, whereas The Office is based more on situational humor. It's awkward or funny situations as opposed to punchlines. So it seems to be an example of the quintessential British humor, but then I heard an interview on NPR uh, which I'll link to down in, below in the description of this video, in which Ricky Gervais, the creator of The Office, said that he isn't at all surprised that The Office has a large American following because of all his influences, like Laurel and Hardy, The Simpsons, and The Spinal Tap, sorry, and Spinal Tap have all been American. He says he is more surprised that the show was such a hit in Britain. 